So this is going to be a fun new one. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but I'm looking at about a dozen bumblebees flying around in the grass. I've never done bumblebees before, so um, <laughs> let's see what we find. So this guy called me and said he was mowing. He's got this old, uh, used to be an old industrial yard out here. They've shut it down, and he's wanting to do some development work on it. He was mowing, and he mowed around here, and he said, man, when he did, he said they just come out. And he said they covered him up, they covered his tractor, but they didn't sting him. And he bailed off and went running off over towards that other pile. They, they left him alone pretty quick. And so he was thinking they were in this tree. Well, I got in here looking and staring, and I didn't see any activity in the tree. And I started real slow, just stepping into the weeds. And uh, as I did, I heard this buzzing sound start. And I looked down beside me, and down on the ground, I saw two or three of them starting to fly up out of the weeds. So I, I backed out, and they didn't attack me, didn't follow me no more than a foot or two. Uh, but now, now I can see, like I said, a dozen or so I'm flying around. So this should be interesting. We're going to get in here, and I don't know how much footage I'm going to get of me actually working because I'm going to go ahead and put my suit on just to be careful just because I don't know how they're going to act. Everything I've read said they're pretty pretty docile, can be docile just like bump or honeybees. Um, but, you know, I just I don't know. So I'm going to suit up just to be safe, and uh, let's get in here and see what we find. So there's one working on my cuff and here's the rest flying around and I believe I believe their nest is right here I don't know how well you guys can see it but what I'm looking at is uh, basically just a domed up pile of organic matter um, you know it looks like dead grass and plants and stuff like that and that's where the bees seem to be going in and out of the grass I can't see any sort of definitive nest because they're burrowed under the ground and that is common to bumblebees they tend to burrow uh, more than they do, you know, build a big fancy nest like like honeybees will. Um, so, luckily the folks here have a shovel, and so I'm going to start working my way around uh, the outer edge here of what I'm looking at with the shovel and see if I can't turn the nest up. They've, they've come out and they've uh, stayed, kept me covered um, for the last probably 30, 40 minutes that I've been trying to work my way in here with a machete, just chopping down weeds, just trying to trying to find them because I couldn't even see where they were coming from. They're coming out just, just covering me. Um, there's probably, you know, I'd estimate maybe, maybe 100, 150 bees. Um, really not that much, obviously, compared to honeybees where there's tens of thousands, but they're huge. So, you know, having, having 20 of them, 30 of them in your face at all times is like having 10,000 bees around you. So it is quite intimidating. I've been a little shy, a little slow and careful. Um, but like I said, I am making progress. I think I found their nest, so now I'm gonna see if I can't turn it up. Okay, we'll pause for station identification. This is Brugan's bees. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, here's what I got. Looks just like a bumblebee nest, which are quite odd. That one looks like it's all vacant, but the way they build these combs is just kind of one big globby cell at a time. They'll, they'll build one cell, the queen will lay a couple eggs in it, and then she'll cap it, and then as those eggs start to develop, the bees will actually pull more cells off the side of it to um, raise those worker bees. But I've got a volume here, maybe the size of a basketball worth of comb, and it was just down here in the ground, not really even buried under the rock. There was uh, there was a limb that had fell out of this dead tree, and as that limb began to break down and decompose, they basically built under it and just used it for cover as it fell apart. So all I really had to do was just get the weeds out of the way and then I just kind of brushed the material to the side to expose the combs. And like I said, it's not one big solid comb, so it's all these little bits and pieces that I got. But I picked up every single one of them I can find, put them in the box here, and what I'm actually going to do now is take, um, spread them out a little bit, and then I'm going to take some more of that organic matter, all of it that I can pick up and just put it right back on top. So as far as they're concerned, they're back in that same hole. now. What I don't know, and what I'm trying to look for, is any sign of orientation that they're accepting my box. Right now, you got an awful lot of bees just crawling around down there where the combs were. I don't see any sort of march or anything around my box. And the problem is, I can't identify a queen. There's one, oh, look at this. Uh, see that one? She's got, oh, just kidding, never mind. Plus, she had pollen on. But they should be gathering pollen and bringing it in for the babies. I don't see any pollen. They gather pollen and nectar just like honeybees, um, but I don't see any of them that have a ton, a load of anything on them. Um, but what I was going to say was I, I can't identify the queen. I think there's one in here that's bigger than the rest, but I haven't seen it. The only thing that I've seen that's any sort of indication was I saw a 
one I thought, and then I saw two or three more that were real light in color, almost white. Here's one crawling around back there. She probably just to the left of the center, now in the center, like a gray color. And the rest of them are gray or white, and the rest of them are yellow. Now, is that the queen? I have no idea, because I thought I saw two or three. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where this colony is at in its life cycle. Um, from my reading in the fall, they they raise a whole bunch of queens and drones. So I have no idea. They might have multiple virgin queens in here. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, like I said, cover up these combs with the organic material that I have and uh, put the lid on this box, and I'm just going to stand back and see what happens. So again, basically all I've done is uh, swept away the decomposing wood that was on top of the nest, picked up all the combs, set them inside my box there in a pile, just like they were on the ground, put the decomposing matter back on top of them. And now I just set my box there and I'm trying to see if any bees start going into it. I'm seeing some that are going in. If you watch up there at the lid, you'll see the occasional bee that flies in. And I don't necessarily see any flying back out. Um, but there's not like a quick march, you know, like with honeybees where all of a sudden they all start running to the box. That's what I wish I would see. I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing a lot of bees crawling around on the ground, dazed and confused, trying to figure out where their nest went. So seeing a couple here and there going to the box, I'm really not sure what to do at this point other than maybe just head to the house and come back tonight and hope they're all in the box. I don't know if they will be or not. Um, I don't have power out here, so it's not like I can rig up my vacuum and suck them all up, even if I wanted to. Um, so I think I'm just gonna chill out here and take a break and kind of see what happens. So I've hung around about another 30, 40 minutes and uh, they're not giving me really any direction at all. They're, they'll cluster up here and there wherever I missed a little scrap of the nest and uh, left it on the dirt. I'll pick that little scrap up and throw it in the box. I do see bees going into the box, going out of the box. And so all I've done is went ahead and I actually brushed some of the material off the top of their comb, so hopefully the smell can get a little bit easier. Maybe these ones that are flying around will find it. But then I put the lid on the box loosely and then piled a bunch of grass and debris back on top of it so that hopefully those that are orienting back to this spot will kind of see something that kind of looks like home and then they find a nest below the grass, which is where it used to be, how it used to be. So maybe there's some merit in that. I really don't know. But for now, I'm going to leave it set up like this and uh, I'm going to head home, help the wife with the kids and everything for the night. And then I'll come back later after dark and uh, hopefully, hopefully have a box full of bees. But I won't know until tonight, so we'll see. Alright, well, we're back after dark now. And uh, at least the flighty activity's calmed down. I still see one or two bees. There's one down here crawling around. A couple over here crawling around. It looks like maybe... Maybe I missed a little chunk of nest over there or something. It's got a couple of them geared up on it. But hopefully they don't fly in my face. I have my suit on, but I don't have my veil on. But mostly, a chunk of bees over there crawling out under the box. I'm afraid a lot of them might be under the box. Um, but I can see... Man, they really make a hum. You get them stirring, they really get to buzzing. I can see... Several of them crawling around down there inside the box. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is get all this grass and crap off the top, see what's in my box, and then I'll pick my box up and move it and uh, just see what I can do to try to gather up as many as I can. Uh, and we'll let you know how it goes.